I'm a pop musician, a rock musician. I play reggae, I play calypso soca. I even did a year of country in southern Saskatchewan, yes. So, and that was, that was enough material for a year, for a lifetime of plays, I'll tell you. Disco, the dance and the lifestyle, have a reputation for being lightweight. But you certainly couldn't say that about the musicians playing in this Winnipeg nightclub's house band. For keyboard player Jerry Atwell, it's a lot of fun. But more importantly, it pays the bills. My main job right now is uh, playing disco in the Boogie Nights disco band, which, uh, uh, you know, requires sequins and the odd, the odd orange fluorescent afro wig. Adwell is a classically trained pianist with a solid reputation. He's often seen on Winnipeg stages performing with a variety of bands. But he's not a one-note act. He also does many types of writing. He's done market research, political writing for the Canadian Artist Network, and scripts for radio, television, and the stage. And of course, there's his songwriting. He wrote the song Glorious and Free for the Department of Canadian Heritage. It's become a fast-selling educational video. In 1995, he wrote the Gemini-nominated Hands of Ida. The half-hour TV drama was the winning entry in Prairie Waves, a screenwriting competition. I've never had a desire to be a filmmaker or to be a playwright or to... What happens is you get an idea and then you have a, um, a dilemma as to whether or not to pursue this idea to fruition. Right? Are you going to realize this or not? And it just in some instances, I've decided to realize them even if the path deviated from the one I was on previously. So this place is pretty special for you, I gather. Well, on a personal level, yeah, it's special for me. As a young child, I went to school at the convent itself for about two years. Adwell grew up and, in St. Uh, Norbert, a small community it. south of Winnipeg. He and his grandmother went to the same St. Norbert school. He imagined what it must have meant to be his grandmother, a 14-year-old black girl in a French Catholic school in 1905. This is the photograph that got me interested in writing plays about my grandmother. This is a postcard, and there's an interesting story on the back of the postcard, where she sent this postcard to her mother and said that the sir had asked her to move her chair from the center of the room because she said, if you sit in the middle, it makes a big difference, but if you sit on the side, it doesn't make a difference. That is a, probably the worst feeling you can have as a child to be sing singled out by an authority figure as being different and having to behave differently because of it. So I was just thinking of what was going through her mind when she was told this and had to sit in the corner when this picture was taken. That led Jerry to write his first play, Soul in Ice. The small cast and sparse set brought to life Atwell's grandmother. What's your compulsion to tell uh, black stories? Because it seems to it's become your life's work in a way. Well, it's, it's a part of it. Um, not to sound cynical, but those are the ones that get made. I mean, I tell other stories as well. I've written, you know, f um, other film scripts and other story ideas. Um, but there is a great interest in this. I mean, it's part of my history. Has Winnipeg been a good place to grow up being black? Um, I, you know, that's... A hard question to answer because I have, uh, I have no other point of reference. I mean, I can tell you what my individual experience was like, but it may be different from the other person's individual experience. I think I have, um, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I love Winnipeg. I mean, Winnipeg's home, St. Norbert's uh, was you know, a great place to grow up, great friends, and uh, I have great friends in Winnipeg. And um, I've had some interesting uh, adversarial circumstances too that uh, I don't think would be unique to Winnipeg. Just because you're black? Yes. Here we go. One to the second verse. Everywhere you look, you see the children. As an active member of the St. Norbert Arts and Cultural Centre, Jerry works with another group of kids struggling through adversarial circumstances. Departures is a songwriting program for inner city kids. Jerry gives them the voice and music to tell their stories in their own words. I go into schools and actually coordinate the writing of a song with, um, with a group of kids. And they write it within the style that they're used to, like Spice Girls or Hanson or Backstreet Boys or whatever. And uh, so that's, I'm really thrilled about that.
all of us in Canada, um, no matter where you came from, your ancestors went through a lot to get to where you are today. And I think we are in the generation that can realize the dreams that they were striving for. And it's up to us whether or not we take advantage of that.